Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about climbing. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I'm doing all the works in my DevOps department and the senior engineers are clueless. What can I do to move up the ladder? Well, you're going to have to figure out what is required to move up the ladder if there even, e even is a ladder. You see, that's the one thing that you really have to think about before you join any company. You have to think about your prospects and the values that you have and the end goal. Because uh, it hopefully this is not going to come as a shock. If you join a small team where literally there is like uh, just a few of you that are working, well, unless you're really into titles and not so much anything else well we can probably move up you move you up the ladder you will do exactly all the same things uh, all the same uh, responsibilities and have exactly the same pay check but we'll call you something nicer which is always cool right because then you can put that on your LinkedIn profile and be really proud of yourself or a business card if you're really old school so that's the first thing you need to figure out if there is a ladder can you actually move up what's uh, whatsoever but the other thing that you need to figure out i would say is to figure out is to t you need to have a discussion with your manager and figure out if you're doing all of this work and you're so valuable is there any reason why they are not seeing that and this is really tricky this can be horrible for you you might actually realize that usually there's one of two scenarios that might be happening here uh, and I've been in both and I know how much this sucks so if you're really lucky you will be in a company where the reason why you're not getting promoted is simply because you are making noise and you're making effort but not in a way that your manager can appreciate and this is a very unfair situation because your manager isn't seeing what you're doing if they're not in the loop and you don't really have co-workers that are I don't know singing your name to the to the skies it's even in even in that scenario it might sometimes not actually lead to you getting a promotion you have to have a discussion with your manager and just explain very transparently that I'm doing all this sort of work and I feel that I'm owed like a, I feel like I'm owed a role where I take more responsibility and then just listen to the feedback let's just hear what that person has to say because as I said you need to figure out if there is a ladder to begin with if that person goes uh, well, yeah, but you, you're you kind of hired to do this job. If they're holding you back or they're stopping you in some fashion, just ask them, all right, what is required for me to move up the ladder? And if they're any good at what they do, they will you feed, you feed back and say, well, what do you want to do? Like, wh where, how can we get you to where you want? They will actually be open to having the discussion. If they're just trying to dismiss you, like, or just trying to keep you away from any discussions about that, or don't really have any idea, or you don't get any traction on discussions about moving up the ladder then you might be in the other scenario which we will talk about as well but let's assume that they are actually giving you this feedback now comes the really interesting part that is so unfair and sucks so much that it's it's almost proof of some that something higher has done something bad and that is that you might be the most damn valuable developer in the entire company but your manager doesn't give a shit about the things that you've been doing because you haven't been doing the things that is important to that person. Go figure, right? I don't think anybody has ever felt like I'm so doing all of these amazing things, but nobody's m m noticing. That's never happened to anybody, right? Nobody can relate to that, especially not me. And now you need to make that decision. Uh, are you going to play the game? and how much are you going to play the game because your manager can literally say anything they can say that you need to hold host more office parties you need to move um, help me move you need to create a, a, a subsidi subsidiary company to our and like start a franchise of our company or something like again they can make up anything and they can give you any hoop and say you need to jump through this thing in order to move up the ladder and then the question is are you willing to jump through that hoop because you can always quit you can always go somewhere else if you don't feel that there's any progression here to be had and that's the thing that you really need to figure out you will be surprised at how often this happens where there's a misalignment in what the what the value that you actually have is versus the the 
person who has who sit is who's sitting with the money or the decision making process and what they can appreciate this happens every single day for I don't know how many developers and how many people and not just developers everybody it, it's the same sort I, I like to tease my music enthusiastic friends and I like to say that you know that Justin Bieber is like the best uh, he's like the greatest music, musician ever he's super popular and they go yeah but this guitarist is much better and this singer she's so talented blah blah and I kind of go yeah yeah that's great but the only people who can appreciate any of that, uh, and that's why they're never going to be really famous, is the people who have advanced knowledge, who are capable of appreciating it, uh, appreciating their genius. But the, to the to the vast majority of people, Justin Bieber or whoever, like pick whatever artist, like I don't care who it is, is much better. Because you're like if you uh, the the usual st uh, usual thing that happens is if you are if you even if you're the best ever at something. That doesn't matter for shit if you if you are pitching it to people who are not able to appreciate your genius. And it's the same thing in software development. It doesn't matter how good you are. If your boss isn't capable of understanding the value that you bring, you're never going to get to promote it. And it is the most unfair thing you can possibly imagine. That's why you need to figure out what are they looking at and then ask yourself, are you willing to jump through those hoops? The worst case scenario, or like the other thing that can happen here, is very similar to this. But they will. The other case that it might be that your boss is just trying to dismiss you, like as much as possible, and just kind of go, "Well, we like he will. They will give you bullshit answers, so try to avoid the topic and like be very vague. They're not, if they can't give you a concrete action plan of what you need to do in order to move up the ladder, that's a big red warning flag for you." In a large company, in, well, it doesn't have to be a large company. In many companies, guys, the there is no plan for ambitious individuals in the engineering department. Well, it doesn't have to just be engineering in any department. They don't really have a like. They don't even care. In some cases, the situation is so bad, and I've been part of say, in in organizations such as this where they don't give a shit how do, how good you are. Like really, the, because nobody in the in, nobody who is capable of making the decision to move you up the ladder knows the first thing about what you do or cares a fucking thing about what you do they just want things to work and they will f gladly get rid of a really 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 valuable uh, person within the company and just trade them in for anybody anybody who can do the job it doesn't matter if the co code is good or if it's bad or if this th this person doesn't give a shit or they like they're the most enthusiastic and driving force in the entire company nobody gi they don't give a shit and if you find yourself in that sort of company well you can forget it you're never going to move up the ladder because no matter how much you like uh, it's like uh, it's like reading poetry beautiful poetry to someone who's deaf it's a complete there is nothing you can do to resolve that situation even if the poetry that you that you created was absolutely beautiful so what i want you to take away from this is that if you want to figure out how to move up the ladder you need to stand out you need to find figure out what is what are the things that your manager is looking for and don't do the naive stupid thing now that you learn from television where you think that if I just do these little things here and there and I never talk about it I never tell anybody that I'm doing it I'm just gonna be this silent achiever who gets noticed and then I move up forget that bullshit it only works in the movies the real world in that fucking thing you need to ask to receive Go and talk to your manager, explain transparently and in a, you know, not a hostile way, just saying that I feel like I should take more responsibility. That's a very good angle to always play. I want a bigger responsibility towards the company because what you're communicating is, I want to help more. Can I please help more? That's a very good thing. And then see what the response is. And if you can get your manager to give you a very detailed action plan, that's a very good thing. Now you have actionable thing. I'm sorry to say that it might be unfair. It might be shit that you don't want to do. It might be things that you think is irrelevant or things that, I mean, you'd be doing all this other stuff that from your perspective is so valuable and proves that you are so valuable. But if your manager can't appreciate it, it doesn't matter. They have to pay attention. And at the very least, by just having this conversation, you are increasing those odds a lot by communicating. If they are not able to give you a detailed plan or something like that, they're kind of dismissive of you or trying to avoid the whole subject or so forth, you might be finding yourself in a situation where there is no way for you to move up. 
and you because you're in a company where either they don't give a shit how good you are because you, they're you're just a formality for someone who is able to actually pre achieve something that they actually value and as i said the, it's like television for the blind or uh, poetry for the deaf it it really doesn't you you can only switch jobs that's the only thing you can do because in that specific company nobody cares about what you do have a great day